the uh, struggles that are going on in Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, in the present context, uh, are to a large extent influenced by what happened at Crandon uh, over a 28-year period from 1976 to 2003, uh, where you had four successive mining companies, beginning with Exxon, Rio Algon, uh, BHP, BHP Billiton, uh, four major mining companies tried to develop a copper zinc mine, sulfide mine at the headwaters of the Wolf River. Uh, they were unsuccessful in doing so uh, because of the determination, first of all, of the Mole Lake, Sakagan, uh, Chippewa tribe, uh, and then a large-scale uh, alliance between uh, the tribal populations in Wisconsin, five different tribes, uh, environmental organizations and sport fishing organizations, uh, which during the 1980s were in fact at odds with each other. Uh, sport fishing organizations were objecting to the exercise of Chippewa spear fishing rights uh, that were affirmed in court decisions in the 1980s. And it was this exactly uh, this context of intense and violent conflict between Indian and non-Indian, which resulted in an unprecedented alliance in the aftermath of that conflict in the 1990s, when Exxon and its Canadian partner, Rio Algom, reapplied for a mining project uh, that had it temporarily abandoned in the mid-1980s. Uh, when they reapplied, this sport fishing environmental uh, Indian alliance uh, generalized the issue of the Clandon Mine Project, uh, not just to an environmental issue, uh, but to an issue of democracy, of local access to decision-making processes, as well as a sustainability question, which brought together a broad alliance, uh, which eventually uh, convinced the mining companies uh, that this was not going to be a, pro uh, a project which was capable of being permitted by the state of Wisconsin. And in 1998, uh, this movement succeeded in uh, getting through the legislature what no politician would have conceived possible in even the previous year, which was uh, what is now the mining moratorium law, which requires an international standard of competence and technical capability of a mining company, not to say that they can mine safely, but to show that they've done it before. And if they cannot show that they've done it before in a metallic sulfide ore body, in the United States or Canada, they cannot get a permit. Right. After 1998, there was not a single mining permit issued in Wisconsin, and there was not a single example that the mining companies were able to come up with in either the United States or Canada, which met the criteria of a metallic sulfide mine that did not pollute during 10 years of mining and after 10 years of operation. Not a single, not a single mine. 